Few civilians know him, but Guy Kramer has done research in different fields, from inventing the passive negative ion generator to designing over 8,000 camouflage patterns used in countries around the world. Being from a family of innovators and researchers, Guy proudly represents Canada in innovation and advancement. We were lucky to have a chat one-on-one -on -one with Guy and let him reveal some of his thoughts and recent innovations in stealth technology. The Canadians had actually come out with their own digital pixelated design in the late 90s. I had put up a web page critiquing that particular process involved because it cost a lot of money and it took many years for them to develop what I thought at the time was a very simple design. And the King of Jordan came across this web page about eight months later had his cousin call me up and ask me, would you be willing to develop for us? What we see is better than what we see with the Americans and Canadians right now. And three months later, we had a working design that started to go into production. And here we are, we've worked with close to 50 countries now. We've got well over two million uniforms produced in our pattern around the world. If you're dealing with movement, that's something different than dealing with a static target. The minute you get into a moving vehicle or an aircraft or a moving soldier, you're dealing with a totally different scenario now. And the pattern has to change to match those requirements. Light bending technology, we have it. It was totally discovered by accident, like most discoveries are. When I noticed this particular principle occurring, I was able to capitalize on that and then start to produce based on what I was seeing. We're looking at something that has no movement whatsoever. So the soldier can either be behind this material or be wearing this material, and you don't see any type of movement. There is nothing to attract the eye to that particular target, and it works in the thermal, and it works in the infrared spectrum. If you have soldiers out there in an open terrain and they have no place to hide, they could actually be 10 feet away from you and you wouldn't know they were there until you tripped over them. We bend light all the time with fiber optic cables. I'm just doing it differently.